Yo, what is going on guys? It is Jaden and I am your teacher. Welcome to Designs Academy and today we'll be learning about how to warp stuff over text or a logo in Photoshop. Uh, like so you could do much with a, a flare or uh, anything like so. Like it could be uh, anything from, uh, you know, a piece of paper. I don't know. It just has to be like something like warp and it has to be transparent and it's hard to explain or, you know, something like that. But it's actually a very easy task, you know, and um. It just takes a lot of thinking because you have to like calculate where everything's gonna go. But after you finish it, it's actually quite nice and it's pretty cool. So um, I already got a flare set for us, and uh, you can download this pack in the description below. It's gonna have the flares and it's gonna have the render, uh, possibly the color correction. I don't know, but um, I think we're gonna be using the uh, bottom flare. So I'm gonna disable all these flares, and I'm just going to bring this out of the flares and just gonna. All the way up here. So we have our flare. Uh, there we go. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna have to uh, bring this over here, and I'm gonna shrink it to match like text almost kind of thing. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to warp it around the Z. Actually, all of it. And it's actually very easy to do. So we're gonna have to zoom in by Control T or Command T, whatever uh, you use, whatever Mac or computer. Um, and in order to do this, all you have to do is right click and go to Warp, and just play with all these uh, these this grid right here. It's like a giant grid. You just play with all of the calculations and whatnot. And um, it's mostly on the. It's mostly just uh you could have just rotated obviously but i want to give you guys like a quick example of what you would use most of the time uh you could definitely just rotate it though without using warp but i just want to show you guys what's up and uh it's, uh, see that was like simple right there um all you gotta do is control j and then uh, we can erase that over there and that was not supposed to happen um there you go and erase that. And we're gonna do the same thing, control J and then we're going to bring that down right there. And this doesn't look good when you do it like all pieces of text. I'm just doing it to show you guys, you know, everything. So don't think I would do this actually. And uh there we go, rotate like so. Too much. So we got at the top of our Z. I would do the rest, but I want to get this over with so I could show you guys some other stuff. So, I mean, that's one type of flare you could use. Another flare you will use would be, uh, I don't know. Nah, it's too, actually, yeah, we could use that. Um, something like this would probably be best if you're doing a corner of something. So I would say, like, right here, I would warp it. So, like that. And then it's Control J, and then um, turn that off. We're going to erase this part right there. Oops, too much. Like that. Crap. You just want to make sure it's not like coming off. that control J and that down there and then turn this one back on rotate that Let's see right about there and like I said I want to actually do this for background too many flares uh, but yeah Put that under those and so I mean that's one thing you could do you know uh, another type of flare we got is this one so that's a yellow one I'm gonna change that to white actually I'm gonna use that yellow um, bring this control J control T uh, for the B uh, like this is one example of what you would need to warp something so 
Uh, it's a warp, like I said. Uh, what I would do first is I would bring it down a little bit. Like that. Um, say right about there. So I'm going to rotate it so it's just like boom. And then I'll want control T again. Uh, right click and go to warp. And wait for it to. Didn't warp. Warp. There we go. Uh, this one's a little bit harder. So. Let me just do this real quick. Do that. Like that. Make sure that isn't sticking off. Nah. It takes a lot of thinking, obviously. Alright, so we could do that. And then we'll just erase this part. We could just play with that a little bit more. Rotate a little bit more like that. And um, there you go. There's your other flare. Uh, that's one way. And then the last flare we got right here. Uh, it's a blue one. Uh, I'll show you guys how to warp this around the T. So let me just... Control T and put it right there. Boom. Uh, Control T again. Right click. Warp. I'm not shrinking it because I want to give it like this giant glowy look. So I'm just going to do that. Bring that all the way up there. Turn that. Make that look like it warps around. Alright. So bring that over there. I do that. Erase those parts. Control T. Move it over just a little bit. And there you go. And we zoom out. I mean... It looks a lot. It looks a little stupider because they're like all different looking. But um, I mean, that's what, 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 what that's one really cool thing. You know, it gives you that look, uh, especially when you're doing something that has to, you know what you want to light up or something that's like a Tron kind of thing. Like it's all glowy and then you want like flares all over it. So I mean, that's one really cool way uh, to disable these flares and disable these as well. Do all that. Another cool way of doing so is something like a flare only. This is a lot like, this is different. It's not, I'm not going to say easier, but it's different. So we zoom back in, go back to the T, and do this. Make sure your pen tool is selected, forgot. Pen tool, uh, and just pen tool all the, uh, whatever you whatever you got going. You got, a, you got text or a logo, just, excuse me, pen tool around all of the uh, edges. And like that. That too far, too far again. Get this right. I don't want to do a crappy job on this. I want to actually show you guys how like cool this can come out to be. And since this is blocking it, I'm not even gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna like that. Uh, do the same thing for the T or the E. My bad. Boom. that the B give us a little boom I'll click the middle more of a turning edge alt Just again more turning the inside of the B as well I would speed this up but I want to make sure you guys like experience what I'm doing here because it's, it's really important to know what you're doing when it comes to this so yeah
We don't have to do the inside of the, actually, nah, because the vein the line's blocking it. And then the last one, the S. You, if you guys don't know how to pen tool already, you guys should really learn it. It's really important to learn how to pen tool, because pen tool is so useful. I hate pen tool. Like I, I still hate it even when I learned how to use it. But it's just something you guys need to learn if you're gonna do this stuff. So I would just, you know, learn it, get it over with, and all that c crap. Actually, I'm gonna do that like this. And it doesn't always have to be perfect because most of the time you're using pen tool, you most likely it's not even supposed to be visible. So I mean, you don't have to make it like a perfect kind of thing, you know? So you just gotta like do your best at it. Like I'm doing right now, I, like I would do a lot better job if I wasn't like in a rush. The only reason I'm in a rush is so I can make you guys, so you guys can see what the outcome is. Like so. Redo that last line right there. What? Redo that again. Alright, so what you want to do now is you want to go to your brush tool and make sure it's on 1, make sure the hardness is 0. So size 1, hardness 0. Back to pen tool, right click, go to the stroke path, make sure your tool is selected on brush and go to OK. Now we can go to right click and go to delete path. And then what we have is we have this uh, this look for a uh, kind of outglow kind of thing. So we have to go back in and go back into where the lines are and uh, now we have to go to the erase tool and erase anything we don't want to see visible so the vines are covering up all these so what I want to do is I want to go and I just want to erase all of the where the vines are covering it up and it will look a lot less ridiculous so like that uh, is that it yeah right here That's it, yeah, for over there. Uh, right here. Right there. And that's about it. I mean, that's all you guys gotta do. You can always overlay it, whatnot. And that's it. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. It's been Jaden. And, uh, make sure you subscribe, right, and comment. Whatever you guys have to say, there's a comment section below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.